当做不义的器具，做罪去满足罪的私欲。You see in Romans six, the verse just before verse thirteen. 第十三节他这样说 ：Do not present the members of your body to sin as instruments of unrighteousness. 他说也不要将你们的肢体献给罪，做不义的器具。You see a spirit that is saved, that has eternal life, uh, can can has control of its body. 啊、uh, ，我们重生得救的基督徒，我们的是呃灵魂已经是活的了。这个活的灵魂应该要掌管我们必死的身体。But and so the 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 spirit must tell must not use the parts of the body to sin. 哦，是我们活着的灵，得救的灵魂不应该做反过来的事，就是拿我们的身体当做犯罪的工具。Now, the flesh, the body, can still find pleasures. Pleasure in sin. Oh, 大家牢记一件事：作为基督徒，我们的身体还是会在犯罪的时候得着快感的。Now, the spirit now doesn't find the pleasure it did before in sin. 但是有一个根本性的不一样，就是尽管我们肉体还有犯罪的快感，但是我们的灵魂不再有犯罪的快感。Sin disturbs the spirit because the Holy Spirit convicts it. 当圣灵住在我们里面的时候，我们的肉体犯罪的时候，我们的灵魂就会什么？受圣灵的责备，灵魂就不再喜欢犯罪。And you look at Romans eight sixteen. 我们看罗马书八章的十六节。The Spirit Himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. 第十六节，两百七十六页，他说：“圣灵和我们的心同证，我们是上帝的儿女。” You see, the Holy Spirit dwells. In our spirit, 一个重生的基督徒有圣灵住在我们的灵魂里面。And that Holy Spirit will never sin. 圣灵永远从来都不犯罪。And the Holy Spirit is guiding us what to do. 那圣灵就什么？就掌掌管我们，就带领我们，我们人生人在这个基督徒在世上的行事为人。So what we must do is obey the Holy Spirit. 所以我们要做的事情是这个，我们的灵不应该顺从肉体，反而是什么？要顺从圣灵。Don't obey those desires that the body has. 所以我们的灵不应该顺从这个肉体的私欲。Now, Satan is still seeking those to divide. 但是撒旦呢，一直是在寻找一切方法，想要什么？想要绊倒我们。I have to go over to First Peter. 我们要再来看一段彼得前书的一段经文 ，Chapter Five or Eight， 在第五章的第八节。Your adversary, the devil, prowls about like a roaring lion, seeking someone to divide. 弟兄姐妹，这段经文是对我们每个人的提醒。第八节哈，四百一十五页，在彼得前书五章十第八节是说：你们务要谨守、警醒。因为你们的仇敌魔鬼如同吼叫的狮子，遍地巡游，寻找可吞吃的人。See, Satan is still around. He's, he's, he's in this world. He's still around, and he's moving around, and he's trying to catch anybody. 哦，你我尽管是重生得救的基督徒，但是这个撒旦还在这个世上，他遍地巡游，寻找那些软弱可吞吃的。And his idea is to get us to sin, so that we will lose our place in heaven. 所以他的目目标很简单，他要绊倒神的儿女，呃，让我们不停的犯罪。他想让我们失去天上的位置，替失去天上的观念。And he tempts us to use the parts of our bodies to indulge in that which is sin. 所以撒旦的工作是什么？经常的诱惑我们，要让我们去什么？我们的灵魂屈从于这个肉体。拿这个，把自己的肢体献给罪，做会犯罪的工具，满足自己肉体的私欲。Now temptation is not sin. 我们这里要声明一点哈，就是诱惑本身不是一个罪，经受诱惑不是罪。Giving in to temptation is sin. 屈从于诱惑才是罪。You see, our spirits still control our bodies. 啊，我们的身灵魂是掌控我们的身体。And what in verse、uh, Romans six thirteen we just read <coughs> said that don't give your your don't present the members of your body to sin. That's, we our spirits give up、uh, parts of our body to sin. 就罗马书六章的十三节我们刚才读了，就是我们不要将自己的肢体献给这个什么，献给罪做不义的器具。
So how can we avoid it though? 那你说我，但是我免不了还是要犯罪啊。The longest book in the Bible， 在圣经里有一卷最长的书，你知道哪一卷书 ？You know the longest book in the Bible is 哪一卷书？就他们的 longest book， 呃 ，chapter， the longest chapter in the Bible。好，在圣经里面最长的一一一章是哪一章？圣经里面最长的一章。Psalm one hundred nineteen， 在诗篇一百一十九啊 ，hundred and seventy five verses。总总共有一百七十五节经文。We're not going to read all of that. 我们不会读一百七十五节。Just look at the verse eleven. 在诗篇一百一十九的第十一节。Thy word have I treasured in my heart, that I may not sin against you. 这个在在第几页啊？是在一百一千一千零一页哈，一千零一页是在第七节啊啊第十一节。第十一节说：“我将你的话藏在心里，免得我得罪你。” We have to hide God's word in our hearts. 我们要把什么？要把神的话藏在我们的心里。And how do we do that? 那我们如何把神的话藏在我们心里 ？By reading the Bible. 我们把神的话藏在我们的心里，首先一件事情要做的就是我们要读圣经。And the young people, I have something to say to you. All you young fellows back there and, and Tanya there. Ah, we have about four or five young brothers. We look at 199. That's for you. We, you must look at the Psalm 119, the first two verses. How can a young man or a young lady keep his way pure? This young man or young lady, what can they do to keep their way pure? What can they do to keep their way pure? By keeping it according to thy word, 是要遵循你的话。This is the way that we can keep from sinning. 呃，当我们把神的话藏在心里的时候，神的话可以保守我们，是吧？不犯罪。God's grace gave us eternal life. When Jesus Christ died on the cross, 当基督死在十字架上的时候，我们因信，我们就从基督那里、神那里领受了永恒的生命。God's grace gives us the Holy Spirit when we believe in Jesus. 神的恩典是把这个圣灵赐给我们。当我们信耶稣的时候，我们才有圣灵的好。没信的耶稣，嘴巴上相相信的不算，心里相信的，神才会把圣灵赐给我们。God's grace gave us the Bible so that we would know how to live properly before God. 因为神的恩典的缘故，神才把他的话赐给我们，使得我们读他的时候才知道我们如何在神耶和华面前行事为人啊，这个符合他的心意。If you try to live a Christian life without reading the Bible, you will fail. 如果你说我是个基督徒，但是我可以不要读圣经，你一定是跌倒的。We have the Bible. 我们有圣经。We are not blind. 我们不是一个瞎子。Therefore, there is no excuse for not knowing what the Bible says. 如果我是一个眼睛被打开了的，我有圣经在手，我就没有理由说我不读圣经。I want to tell you one story. 我想跟大家讲分享一个故事。A young lady, Mary Jones. 有一个名字叫做玛利亚·琼斯。A little bit younger, maybe about this, about the same age as as David is right now. 啊，大概是 David 我们小小 David 兄弟的这个年龄。Anyway, she her father died when she was four years old. 呃，她四岁的时候，她的父亲就去世了。She was a Welsh girl. 啊，她是一个在这个威尔士人的一个一个女孩。Do you know Do you know who the Welsh are? King Bird. 啊 ，Wales. Yeah, who the Welsh are? 呃，就是威尔士人是什么人？他他是。The Welsh are the original people who went to England before the Anglo-Saxons, before all the other all the other people. 现在住在一不不不列颠住在英国本岛的人，还没有威尔士人去的早。威尔士人才是真正到那里第一批的人。他们如果称为原住民，呃，才是比较好。比较合合理的。They were the original Britons. 他们才是真正的不列颠人。And so, part of England, the western, southwestern part of England is called Wales. 所以在这个英英国的这个啊，这最南端的那部分人，他们被称为威尔士人。Okay, and she was, uh, um, um, her, because her father died, her mother had a hard time raising, raising the family. 
后来他父亲因为死得太早。